you can find us each and every day over there at JiggyJaguar.com. And we are going to go to our next guest who is going to join us here in just a few moments. We're going to ring the group, whatever the hell that means. And um, it's something Skype does. I don't know. You've got to ring the group or something. I, I don't know. But uh, we are going to go to our next guest who was going to join us here in just a few moments. And uh, we are live hey, on 990 WBOB. Can you hear me, my friend? I've got you. If you can hear Hello. me. Look at that. Fantastic. So uh, go ahead and give me a brief introduction yeah. on yourself, my friend. Tell us a bit about yourself. Well, this is Klaus Holmgren calling from Sweden. I'm calling because uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the, my metal project, Quilloa. Yes, yes. Let's uh, let's talk about this. Awesome. This is quite the deal. Tell me a little bit about this whole project that you've got going here, brother. Well, basically, it's a very long story, so I'll try to make it as short <laughs> as I possibly can. My no, you you take you take <laughs> as much time as you need, my friend. Go ahead. Ah, that. That sounds also awesome, mate. Now, nah, basically, this started out thing two and a half years ago, around okay. that. And uh, I've been playing bands for like the last 20, 25 years, mostly rock and roll bands, stuff like that. Yeah. So then the last band we played in, we put that to rest. And I thought to myself, hey, I can't be done with music just yet. So what I did, I bought myself a small studio, put it in up in my basement and said to myself that I was I was trying to to learn how to mix and the technical stuff about music production yeah. but after a while I thought that that was quite boring so why not start playing uh, power metal instead <laughs> that's awesome that's fantastic something like that <laughs> We have got a great guest with us today, and uh, this this project is absolutely amazing. Uh, so tell me a Thanks, little man. bit about the music scene where you're from, because you're from Sweden. T tell us about the music scene over in Sweden. I mean, the music scene in Sweden has, in my opinion, always been uh, very, very good, especially when you're talking about metal bands in the all different genres, of course, uh, especially the, in Sweden, probably what people are most know if we're talking power metal, they have the Hammerfall, of course, it's the big bands, but yep. uh, as well, and the death metal scene here in Sweden has been awesome as well during the years. And then, of course, we have Europe back in the 80s, starting in the, in the early 90s and stuff like that. So uh, quite some good music coming out of Sweden. ABBA as well, of course. Not metal, yes. but a good band. <laughs> yes, I was uh, I was just talking with someone about ABBA the other day. So uh, I, I, I think that's, yeah. that's phenomenal. That uh, so, so tell me a little bit about where you guys derive your musical heroes and influences and everything. Yeah, for me, I've always been uh, into all type of music that is melodic, melodic music. So my roots are, I guess, from, from the 80s metal scene. I, I would guess that. And then, of course, Kiss has always been house gods for me. Mostly their 70s stuff. But apart from that, all the, the hair bands and the glam metal bands from the 80s. And then later on, once I get got older, of course, the, the German power metal, the speed metal scene was the one that really got me that's awesome. guardian halloween those bands that's awesome that's awesome so um tell me a little bit about how we find you guys on the web and buy your music and everything yeah we are everywhere almost now of course, <laughs> almost Facebook, everywhere instagram <laughs> bad camp and stuff like that so I think we are almost everywhere. I, I have no really clue about those type of things. Yeah. <laughs> we just put it out everywhere. But usually the, the, the easiest way to, to get a hold of us is the Facebook or the Instagram or our Bandcamp site because I try to help keep track on those uh, every day. That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, this, uh, this band we're talking with today, you guys are amazing. You guys have put a lot of time and effort into the writing and the music and everything. 
Uh, where do you guys see yourself this year? Do you think you're going to be able to do any touring or anything? Or give 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 me, give me kind of a look at what you what you guys think you're going to be doing. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on. Of course, I'm just now. I'm sitting here writing, uh, uh, putting the the final touches to a new track we are working on. So uh, the plan for this year is, I hope, is somewhere in the late half of this year to actually release a full length album. At least that's the plan. So we will see how that goes, uh, because we, we're not a band uh, just here in Sweden, and I think we have we have members in five different countries. So we are in Argentina, Ecuador, Germany, Portugal, and Sweden. So it will be impossible to do something about the live <laughs> the playing thing. That's great. Well, you guys have uh, have got a really really cool setup. You guys have have some great music. Uh, what what do people on the internet say about your music? Uh, we got some. A lot of people have been reaching out from all over the world, actually, uh, since we released the the EP, and actually before that uh, as well. And uh, it, it seems like we are doing something right. And the the basic plan for this whole project was to just get back to the roots with the power metal and speed metal sound that were probably more like back in the 90s early 2000s the, the more the harder sound the more guitar oriented not so much keyboards and stuff like that so yeah. we have gotten a lot of people that have told us that that's a good thing so we try to keep keep that in the future as well that's awesome that's awesome well we are going to go to one of your tracks here fireborn tell us about fireborn and then we're going to play it here in a few moments uh, epic <laughs> I actually that was the last track we uh, we managed to, to finish before the EP and it wasn't really planned to go on the EP as well but uh, we were really pleased with it so we thought hey we need to include that so we extended the production for like a month or something like that just to get it on the on the actual EP and basically what it is is a classic metal power metal track I don't know, really know what we are singing about, but uh, some <laughs> evil guys called the Fireborn. That's awesome. <laughs> nah, there is a long story about that, but uh, that's the short one. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to place you on hold here on Skype. We're going to play this track, and then we're going to come back and keep chatting, my friend. Uh, it is Fireborn, and it is here on our big <laughs>
That is a hell of a track. And we are going to go back to our guest. He's going to join us here on the old Skip Skype, the old Skyper Rooney. And uh, good God, that was quite the track, my friend. Hey, man. That was quite the that was quite the song there, sir. <laughs> yeah, thanks, wow, man. you hey, guys, uh, you guys put uh, a heck of a lot into that. That was that was amazing. Good stuff. Good stuff. We have got. Yeah, we liked it. Yeah, we did. We did the best we could. Well, I will tell you that that you know you guys are described as power metal. That was power metal. <laughs> that was yeah. That was pretty it. badass. <laughs> so um yeah, this this single Fireborn, which we just played, uh, it's been played on metal radio stations all over the world. The EP has been getting a, has been well received. You guys have been getting a lot of uh, rave reviews from international metal press and locally in Sweden. Um, what what are what are some of the other feedback that you're getting on your music? So I didn't really catch you there, right? There was some breakup. Uh, what are some of the reviews you've been getting on your music? Ah. Sure. Uh, now it's been very good, actually. And starting out, I didn't think uh, we were going to get any reviews at all, basically, because when I talk yeah. to other people in the same uh, same type of projects that I'm doing, they said that it's, it's impossible to get reviews at all. Uh, but for our part, it's, it's just being keep on coming. And of course, we, we put a lot of work into to the relations with people who runs websites and blogs and writes reviews and stuff like that and reached out to them uh, instead of just blasting everyone with hello and this is now our new metal album listen to it it's the best in the world so <laughs> <laughs> i tried another approach <laughs> more more like like we did in the, back in the day when we were playing like in punk bands 25 years ago it just actually talk to people yes and tell them hey man this is my my new cd hope you like it and then we just start chatting and from there, we just moved on, actually. So we, we've got a lot of reviews. I couldn't really have imagined that from the beginning. Not at all. That's great. That's great. Well, I'm glad you guys have, have put the time and the effort and uh, and gotten this whole thing rolling, because uh, you guys definitely have quite quite a uh, quite an album here. I hope so. So <laughs> we will see about the new material. But uh, what I can say about that is, of course, it will be fast and melodic. So uh, no <laughs> change there. <laughs> so what is your what is every your metal, every met power metal should go fast? Hey, I think that's great. I think that's great. So so what is your um, process like to put the music out there and and do all this? What what, what is your production process like? And the production process basically is it starts out here in my basement in, in Sweden. So uh, usually I just fiddle around with the guitar and sometimes it just a riff comes up and then I work from there <clears throat> to make it easy, of course. But uh, then I write the, the whole structure for the song, or for the songs, of course. And then when I feel pleased with my part, I will just send it out to, to the rest of the guys. And usually I send it to Alex, the singer, first. And together we will come up with the vocals, vocal ideas. Usually I have some type of basic idea, but he is the, he is a superb singer. So I usually <laughs> let him do his thing. And from that, we just move on to uh, Steve in Germany, who plays lead guitars, and Marco plays the bass garden in Argentina. And then we have used a guy named David in Ecuador. So just send everything around. So everything takes forever, of course, as you probably understand yeah. <laughs> in trying yeah. to get everything in order. But doing that it has been it's been so important for, for the, the sound of, of the final production. I mean, I have my ideas in my head, but when I, the other guys put their ideas into it, it's been amazing. That's I could great. never have imagined that from the beginning because my, my original plan was to do just everything from just myself, play every, all the instruments apart from the vocals, of course. Wow, that's great though that you've got a that you've got a good process and you've got everybody involved. I think that's awesome. 
Yeah, I think it, it works. Like I said, it takes forever, but we have we are not in a hurry. We are we are doing this because of the fun of it. So yeah. <laughs> nothing more actually. So it it can take some time. That's no worries great. about that. That's great. Well, it's been an honor and a privilege to chat with you today. Thanks for doing this, brother. And uh, thanks for coming oh, on our program. I, I really appreciated chatting with you today. Ah, thank you. Thank well, you for the interest. It's always fantastic to speak to people in the in this community. It's always amazing people. Well, before we let you go, how do people buy your music and get involved with what you guys are doing online? Uh, easiest thing is our Bandcamp site. And then we are on Apple and stuff like that. But if you need want a physical CD, we have a few copies left. Uh, just go through Bandcamp or send me a DM or something. That's great. Well, thanks for doing this, brother. This has definitely been a uh, fantastic...